the Ides. The Ides originally correspond to the full moon, and it is actually a day that comes every month according to the ancient Roman calendar. It's not only reserved for March. In William Shakespeare's play, Beware the Ides of March, those exact words are shared with the character Julius Caesar by a fortune teller, referring to the day where he would be killed. Those words branded the phrase, Beware the Ides of March, along with the date, March 15th, with overwhelming fear. On March 15th, 44 B.C., Julius Caesar was assassinated by 40 senators and 60 co-conspirators. He was stabbed 23 times during a meeting of the Senate at the Theater of Pompeii in Rome. There were many signs for Caesar not to attend the meeting that day. Caesar's horses were grazing on the banks of the Rubicon, and they were seen weeping. A bird flew into the Theater of Pompeii with a sprig of laurel, but was quickly devoured by a larger bird. Caesar's wife, Calpurnia, actually had a dream of him bleeding to death in her arms. And lastly, a soothsayer named Spirina warned him to beware of danger no later than the Ides of March. Unfortunately, Caesar put little faith in omens. Caesar had been warned of the plot to take his life, but Brutus persuaded him that the Senate would be disappointed if he did not attend. Brutus was the son of Caesar's mistress, Servilia, and married to the Roman orator Cato's daughter, Portia, and was believed by Caesar to be a trusted confidant. Little did Caesar know he was one of the primary conspirators. Mark Antony an ally of Caesar, was very suspicious of the trip to the theater that day. As he tried to intervene, he was detained outside the theater by a co-conspirator of the assassination. As Caesar arrived in the theater, he was presented with a petition by Lucius Tilius Simber for the return of his exiled brother. When Caesar refused the petition, Simber manhandled Caesar, pulling down his toga. As Caesar cried, This is violence! Casca thrust a dagger at his neck. From here, the action set in motion an angry mob who violently attacked Caesar, stabbing him to death. Caesar uttered his last words, which have been subject of speculation through the centuries. While he did not exactly say the Shakespearean et tu, Brute, as the Roman chronicler Suetonius claimed, Caesar's actual last words were, You too, child? while addressing his formerly trusted confidant Brutus moments before his last breath. Following his death, the man who led the conspiracy for his murder, Marcus Junius Brutus, officially issued a coin to commemorate the death of Caesar. Caesar's death ignited a series of civil wars that essentially ended the demise of the Roman Republic and the birth of the Roman Empire. The conspirators led by Cassius and Brutus took their men into battle and were defeated at the Battle of Philippi in Macedonia in 42 B.C. It was Mark Antony and Caesar's nominated successor, Gaius Octavius, who led the charge and won the battle and ultimately the war. Octavius became emperor and took the name Augustus Caesar and proclaimed his predecessor a god, that same year. These are interesting things with J.C.,